Welcome to Vinex Studio. Let's start making games. Hi and welcome. In this tutorial, we're going to see how to create a new material in Unity. We'll also see how to assign that material to a game object. And we'll be also creating a new physics material and we'll see how to change the physics property of that material and also to apply that material to a game object and see how it behaves. So let's get started. Let's add a cube and a plane to our scene. So 3D object cube, then 3D object plane. So let's reset the position. Transform, reset, plane, transform, reset. So let's move the cube a little bit so that you'll be able to see the cube. Okay. So now, now to create a new material, you can just go to your project window, right click, create and go to material. So a new material is created in your project window. You can give it any name you want. So I'm going to call it plane. And to assign the material to your plane, you can just drag and drop it in your scene view. The next option is you can drag and drop it to the game object in the hierarchy. Or you can select the object in the hierarchy, go to the renderer. So here it's mesh renderer. And inside the mesh renderer, you have to find material. And inside the material, you can just drag this here. So now this material is assigned to the plane. Now, if you want to configure this material, just select this material. And as you can see, the properties of the materials are available in the inspector window. So you can just go and select your shader first. Depending on your shader, the, these properties will vary. So if you are in the standard shader, you can change the color of your material. Then you can increase the metallic and smoothness of the material. Then if you want to assign a, a texture to it, then you can just go to the secondary map and click here and assign a texture. So now the texture is applied. Similarly, if you want to apply a normal map, you can do that. So you can also change the shader based on if you're creating for mobile, you can just go to mobile and depending on what your material is, you can change the shader. So this way you can create a simple material, change the shader, assign a texture to it and then apply the material to your game object. Now let's create a physics material. So physics materials have properties like bounciness and friction. So to create a physics material, you can just right click here in the similar way. Then go to create and rather than creating a material, go to physics material and let's call it bounce. So now I have a bounce physics material. I can change the friction and bounciness from here. So let me change. So you can change the friction and bounciness value. And once you're done, you can assign the material to your game object. Now this also works in the same way. You can just drag and drop to the material and you can drag and drop to the hierarchy. But if you're, drag, if you're assigning it in the inspector window, then uh, it is not available under the renderer because the renderer uses the normal material, it doesn't use the physics material. So this physics material is used by the rigid body and the collider. If you're using an older version of Unity, then this physics material option will be available in the rigid body component. So let's add the rigid body component also, but in the new in the newer Unity version, the material option is moved to the collider. So as you can see, Box Collider has a material option. So let's drag a physics material to Box Collider. Any physics game object will have two materials, one for rendering and one for the physics properties. So if you want to assign the other material also, you can do that in the render. So we'll assign this to the render. Now if we play the game, the cube should bounce. So that's it. Now you have learned how to create a new material, how to create a new physics material and how to assign those materials to your game objects. See you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.